In the northeast of Spain, in the coastal city of Barcelona, you will find La Sagrada Familia, Spain's most famous church, and as of now, still unfinished. Who built it? When and why? And when will it be finished? Let's dive in. The story of Sagrada Familia begins with Josep Maria Bocabella, a bookshop owner who, after returning from a pilgrimage to the Vatican in 1872, decided that his city should also have a beautiful church, like the ones he had seen in Italy. Bocabella wasn't rich, but he did have good connections and was able to raise enough money through donations to start the project. He hired a chief architect called Francisco de Paula del Villar, who planned on building a standard Gothic revival church, a commonly approved style for churches at that time. But Francisco de Paula quit only one year after construction began because of disagreements. As time has proven, this turned out to be a good thing because the next architect was Antony Gaudi, who decided to make this church his life's masterpiece. And La Sagrada Familia is definitely one of the most unique architectural wonders you'll ever see. It has three remarkable facades, each one representing a period in Jesus' life. The Nativity facade is about the birth of Jesus and was the first to be constructed. The Passion facade is about his crucifixion and resurrection and was constructed between 1954 and 1976. And the glory facade is about his rise to heaven and his everlasting glory. Construction began in 2002 and is still ongoing. Another interesting design feature is the spires. When finished, there will be 18 spires representing the 12 apostles, the four evangelists, the Virgin Mary and Jesus Christ. The interior is just as breathtaking as the exterior with its 33 tree-like columns and stained glass windows. Every column and pane of glass symbolizes something. On completion, it will be the tallest church in the world at 170 meters. The height was very important to Gaudi because he wanted his church to be the tallest, but no taller than the nearby hill that God had created. I've been calling Sagrada Familia a church until now, but in 2010 the Pope blessed the church and turned it into a minor basilica in order to increase its status. So why, after 140 years, has it not been completed? Well, Gaudi, when asked how long it would take, is quoted as saying, God is not in a hurry. Gaudi worked on the church for 43 years, from 1883 until his death in 1926. At the time of his death, roughly 25% had been completed. Then the Spanish Civil War broke out, which slowed down the build. At the start of the war, anarchists broke into his workshop and destroyed some of his plans and plaster models. It took 16 years to reconstruct his original models. Progress on the church continued slowly through the 50s and 60s until technology improved. Computer-aided design and 3D printing came along and sped things up. By 2010, 50% of the church was finished and five years later, the build was at 70%. So now the big question is, when will it be finished? And the official answer given is 2026, which will mark 100 years since Gaudi passed away. Realistically speaking though, all the decorative finishes won't be added until after 2030. One good thing to know is that you too can have a part in building Sagrada Familia because all of the construction costs come from tourism. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe for more.